Hey y'all, it's your girl Kai K. Nicole and I am back with another freaking video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. It's your girl Kai K. Nicole and hopefully you stick around because I do all types of content. Da 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 and da 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 da. Period. Anyways y'all, so right now it's probably like 1 p.m. and I really want breakfast. Like I want IHOP so bad. Because I actually want to go to like a regular like, breakfast spot and not like a lounge where they be hookling and all of that. I don't want to be around it right now. I really just want to sit down, eat breakfast by myself. Have y'all noticed lately I've been doing a lot of content by myself? I know y'all are proud of me. Thank you. Your girl has been doing a lot of content by herself. I'm just been enjoying being by myself. Like I I'm not gonna lie, I love being by myself now. Before I was really um uh, nervous about going out to eat by myself going to the movies what the shit i was really nervous about doing stuff like that by myself but now i'm not because i realize i am at peace a lot of times by myself period so i just want to come in here and make sure i checked in with y'all let y'all know what your girl is doing we got a long eventful day today we're going to a pole dancing class i am so excited i have never been pole dancing before i have been to the strip club before at my young age yeah i know anyway it doesn't matter but i've been to the strip club before um it seems like a lot of arms and legs you know your girl is out of shape i'm small i know and a lot of people i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm gonna have a heart to heart with y'all a lot of people have been commenting not just on youtube but on instagram and stuff like that about my weight loss Yes, I know I have lost a lot of weight. Um, I used to be 135. Now I'm like 117, 116, depending on if I eat or whatever the case might be. I I know, I understand, and it kind of is like it is what it is with the whole weight loss thing. You know, life throws you limits. Like I tell y'all, and we make lemonade. So your girl is getting her weight back up or whatever because... I am 20 and I'm not supposed to be 117 so yeah I don't get offended or anything like that it's just kind of like a little annoying now because a lot of people point it out a lot of people say it like I understand I used to be thicker now I'm smaller it is what it is you know so your girl is getting her butt back though so I'm taking this I'm adding like different stuff to my life that I know that I want to improve on so I might start working back out. I might start doing this, that, and the third. But I just wanted to let y'all know that we're doing a pole dancing class. So when y'all see me in the type of attire that I'm on, I just wanted to let y'all know I already know I have lost weight. I know that I am really small now. I know. You don't have to tell me. I already know. No hard feelings. If you feel like you need to point it out, it's cool. I'm just letting y'all know. I know that I'm smaller now, and I get it. But... To get off that note, I'm finna ready to go. I'm already dressed, got my glasses on, got my lip gloss on. My bag is already packed, my purse. So I'm ready to go. So, yeah, bye y'all. I'm Nakara. Oh my God. <laughs> oh y'all just met a supporter at IHOP. I'm dead. That is so crazy. Thank you for watching though. I appreciate it. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. <laughs> She's lit, y'all. I'm gonna get back with y'all, though. Right. Hey, y'all, so I got my food or whatever the case may be. So I'm finna get ready to eat really quickly because I am hungry. And then after I do that, I'm gonna pick up my camera later. Hey, y'all. Today is another day. And if you have noticed, it has been very... <coughs> My bad, y'all. Had some coming through. It has been a very awkward type of week for me. Um, you guys probably don't know because I didn't post about it on my Instagram, but I did um, get into a car accident. Um, it was it was very scary because um, it was first of all, let me clear this up. It wasn't my fault. I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing, driving the speed limit, driving uh, aware of everything. But look, just have it. I hit someone's car. 
So let me tell y'all what happened. My car is totaled. I don't even have a car. So I'm in the works of getting another car. That's so crazy because I just made a video of me going to the dealership looking at a car. So yeah. But basically what happened y'all is I was driving straight. I had to right away go straight through a light. Um, a car that was on this side. I'm going to try to show y'all. So I'm driving straight and it's another car right here. While I'm going, she decides to turn at the last minute, which caused me to... I slammed on brakes, but I still, like, hit her. And when I hit her, my airbag came out and hit me. Um, my car was fucked up. I'm going to insert the pictures and show y'all. You know, I, it was just really, really crazy. Like, I don't know, y'all. I've never experienced anything like that before to just, like, by myself. I'm so thankful that I was by myself and not have somebody else in the car with me. Like, I'm very thankful for that. Um, when times like this happen, it's really, really rough, especially when you have a lot of other things, like, going on in life. You kind of just be like, damn what the fuck do I do now but like I told y'all like I'm I'm very spiritual and I'm, I'm really big on my relationship with God but I feel like everything happened for a reason like when it happened of course I was crying because I was like damn if I would have stayed at home a little bit longer you know this wouldn't happen but it was destined to happen it was meant to happen and and that's okay you know like it does hurt a lot because I bought that car when I was 17 I got the car on my own um and that was just like that was my baby like I that puts my my heart and soul that car has taken me everywhere from Chicago Miami uh multiple times in Florida Tennessee Atlanta North Carolina like it has taken me so many places like I went everywhere in that car and to see all my hard work and grind and sweat and tears just disappear in less than three seconds was really hard for me like it was really really hard for me um so yeah you know i just been being positive about it because i was like i could be worse my whole face could be disfigured from getting hit from the airbag i have a broken arm i could i could be so fucked up right now but you know god spared me with that and yeah so really i just came out here to really just say y'all just be appreciative of everything even if you see the next person with a, a fire ass car and you got like a 20 2007 toyota camry be appreciative of it because you still have a way to go here there everywhere you still have a way to go to point a to point b um yeah i, I really appreciated my car appreciated all the memories i had in my car all the fun things all the crazy shit all the crying screaming arguing laughing fucking everything that happened in my car i appreciate it all I just, it's just hard now, especially with everything going on. It's really hard, but when life is full of adversity, it's up to you to keep going. So, I'm going to keep going. That's my, that's my quote of the day for myself. Life is full of adversity, and it's up to you to keep going. But I just want to make sure I came on here and tell y'all this so we won't be in little spicy whites no more. We... We looking for a new car right now as we speak. Um, insurance is doing insurance things. So yeah, she was at fault. Um, she did get a ticket, I believe. Um, failing to yield, and uh, failing to yield on to ongoing traffic. That's what she got. And yeah, I'm I'm not like after this whole thing happened. Like I kind of just start to appreciate everything a lot more not even just a lot more but just a lot more and it also has showed me a lot of things with people so yeah i don't know y'all it's really tough it's really hard on me especially someone who has never been without a car or any type of transportation in years to going back to when i was in high school with no car that's how i feel i feel like i'm back at, I'm back at square one grinding hustling doing what I need to do, or whatever the case may be, so, yeah, y'all, so, I just want to make sure I came out here and told y'all what happened, 
Um, I didn't get to make it to the pole dancing class. It happened on the way there. Um, so yeah, I'll keep y'all updated with things. I'm actually gonna agree to go to the doctor to make sure that I'm okay. Make sure that you don't see anything wrong. Cause you know, sometimes with accidents, you don't feel everything right away. So yeah, y'all. So that's what I'm on the way to do today. Um, probably gonna go take a walk or something. I just wanna clear my head and really just figure out what I'm gonna do with everything. So yeah, I just wanna make sure I keep y'all updated. You know, your friends. I just want to make sure I came on here and talked to y'all. Um, yeah, so that's really all I have to say right now. Um, I'm just going to pick up my camera a little later. And I look crusty, but yeah, bye guys. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, so I ended up yesterday just redoing my hair, put my wig back on. Because when I did get into that accident, like, my wig sweated out so bad, like, it was looking a mess, but I'm finna get ready to um, get up and go for a walk or something like that because I just really want to get out the house. I've been kind of um, depressed a little bit, like and stuff like that. Just kind of sad and stuff because it's kind of new, not having a car and having to um, see if people can take me places and stuff like that. And I really don't ask or anything because I know people are busy. And um, they have their own lives. So I'm just going to get up and go for a little walk. And just clear my head. Because I am really, really depressed. Really, really sad. Like, um, yeah, like, I just, I, yesterday all I could do was just cry. Because it was like, I don't know. You know, I was just crying and shit like that. Because... It's just hard. It's really, really hard. Like, it's really, really tough. And then having no car, then it's going to be winter time. Then, I don't know, y'all. It's just really hard on me right now. And, you know, I'm going to get to drop tomorrow because today is October 6th. My mom, it's Friday. My mom's supposed to be coming down. Um, my mom is supposed to be coming to get me, or whatever the case may be, to um, take me to go and look at the car and look at other cars and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm hoping and praying today I can get a car when she comes down. Like, I just hope and pray. Yeah, I'm praying. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm just praying to God because this is really, really hard. Like, when I tell y'all, I've been crying. Like, I don't even know how I still have lashes on. I've just been crying and just trying to keep my head level because stuff like this really just makes you sad or whatever. But... Yeah, so I'm finna get ready to brush my teeth and put some deodorant on, put some workout clothes on, and just go walk and just enjoy the small things in life. Like me being able to have the ability to walk, me being able to have the ability to breathe and see and have a roof over my head. So, yeah. But, yeah, so I'm gonna just pick up my camera when I get done. I know these vlogs are kind of always in the house type thing now because I don't have a car and a lot of my friends are busy and they have lives of themselves so you know yeah but i'm gonna pick up the camera a little later so bye y'all hey y'all so i am back and my mom is here now and we went to go we're at the um junkyard not junkyard what the fuck is this the tow place for red cars so i'm gonna get ready to see my baby and i'm about to get ready to just show y'all her mom Ma! She yelling. She can't help. Yeah. So I'm finna get ready to show y'all the car. I know it's so bad and so depressing, but you know how it is. Hold on. When all this happened? Hold on. Look at my car. This is all that happened to the car. What you need out of the? Yeah, y'all. So that is how my car looks right now. Uh, very bad, very terrible. I don't know what the plan is now, but y'all just gonna have to 
see what it be. But yeah, so I'm finna see if I can get something to eat. I'm probably finna go hang out with uh Deja and Mari tonight, or whatever the case may be. So yeah, Lord, look at my hair. I did not do my hair, just came. But yeah, y'all. So I'm gonna pick up my camera a little bit later when we at when I'm actually doing something. But I just wanna make sure that I showed y'all my car. Right, we Bye y'all. Rise and shine, y'all. My voice is gone. I don't know what is going on. But today is um October 7th. And it's the day I drop my clothes. I'm super excited. I'm super blessed. I'm super happy. Um I'm just very thankful, thankful, thankful. I'm just a praising God. I'm just thankful to be alive right now and being able to do what I need to do for my brand and my business, y'all. So, <clears throat> lately, y'all, I've added to my routine since I haven't had a car to get up and start walking more, get up and um, put my, my legs to use. I've been walking. I've been going on little walks instead of me sitting in a bed, um, being sad and everything about the whole car situation. Um, I've just been walking and clearing my head, listening to my music, my raw wave. Raw wave has definitely been a blessing right now, y'all. Like, raw wave has just been helping me through everything. Um, I was supposed to go out last night, like I told y'all, but you know, my um. Uh, <clears throat> my ride or whatever had to do something else and i'm not mad at her it's her car her life her living so i can't be mad at somebody if they can't squeeze me into their plans or whatever and that's fine that's life but um yes i'm up early i'm gonna go take a walk i'm gonna get back on my computer um do my things i need to do for my brand um online and yeah i'm super excited I'm, i feel super happy today um, last night, I, yesterday, I was a little sad. Um, I was very happy to, um, see my mama and she really lifted my spirit up and stuff like that. So I'm very happy about that. Um, when I, before I go on this walk, I do want to talk to y'all. I don't really like the comments. I did read a couple of the comments and I really didn't like the comments of y'all saying that I moved on too fast and stuff like that. Kind of bashing me a little bit and I really don't like that at all because... I feel as if I didn't say that I wanted to do it. I never said none of that. And I just felt like y'all was just coming at me like so hard for what? Like, I'm trying to figure out. And then on top of that, y'all y'all trying to call me hoes and shit. How am I a hoe when all I did was get to do my number? Who said I text them? Who said I text them? Who said I did any of that? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't do, I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, but it ain't none of y'all been what I did, but I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Don't try to make me seem like I'm this, that, and the third, but when he do it, it's okay. I don't know, but I'm still waiting on us to have a conversation. We haven't really been talking or nothing like that. Like, you know, it kind of did, like, I'm ready for us to take that step forward and have a conversation and just resolve the problem so that I can apologize to him and things like that. But yeah, you know, y'all really upset at me in them comments. Like, I, I don't know. But, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and touch on that a little bit. Y'all ain't got to come so hard for me. Y'all ain't got to call me on my name. Y'all ain't got to make me th death threats. Y'all ain't got to tell me to myself. None of that. Like, y'all going really extreme. So, let's just pipe down about that. And plus, at the end of the day, I'm grown. So, you know, what I decide to do in my free time, in my life, if it is with another person, that's just how it is. But I don't, you know, like I told you, I'm not healed. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm fully, fully, fully single. I think I'm single because he said that he's single. So, if he thinks that he's single, then that means that forces me to be single, right? I don't know. But, anyways, I'm finna agree to, um... My clothes is already on. Got my spandex on and my jacket with my little thermal crop thing because it's cold as fuck outside. And we finna get ready to go on this walk, y'all. So let's go. Put your shoes on. Put your workout outfit on and get up. Get up. Get up. Get up and go walk. Get up and get off that goddamn phone. Love you. You know I wouldn't do that to y'all. But yeah, so I'm going to catch y'all on this walk. 
I might vlog off my phone in a little bit because this camera's too damn big to be trying to walk a mile and a trail to and record. So, yeah. Bye, yeah. Hi. So, I am walking. Um, I walk on this trail or whatever the case may be. Um, I haven't... I'm pretty sure the lighting is bad. I probably have to turn this way, but I haven't um, been walking for that long. Probably like 15, 20 minutes because I walk pretty fast, but I, I'm a good distance away from where I was at. Um, usually, I don't go further down the trail as I am today, but I don't want to turn back around right now because I feel like I have a good pace. Not a good pace, but a, my body's warm. I'm not cold no more, so I feel so much better um ever since i'm not gonna lie y'all i usually didn't go on walks like i usually just laid in my bed and just chilled and stuff like that but i started realizing like you know when you go on walks and you wake your body up and it makes you have a more productive day and it makes you feel better and stuff like that because i'm not gonna lie y'all i low-key thought and I still kind of feel like that sometimes, like time to time, that I was like low-key going through like a depression a little bit. Because like, of course stuff is going on on the side, stuff that happens on outside of my life that y'all don't see. And then on top of that, me losing my car, I, was just, I just felt like I just was taking so many L's and so many losses and stuff right there. And I can handle like a couple of losses and stuff like that like really really well like i still have to be motivated still keep going but losses after losses after losses and not seeing a single w it really like kind of like broke my spirit a little bit it made me kind of feel like damn i'm not doing something right like i feel useless i feel like you know i just kind of felt useless or whatever the case may be so yeah but you know ever since i had started walking and stuff I kind of started feeling a little bit better about myself I kind of started feeling a little bit more motivated hold on y'all the train's coming no, that was a truck I kind of started feeling a little bit more motivated and stuff like that to get on these walks and make me feel a little bit more productive about myself because I turn my music on I'm relaxed I don't have no phones or distracting me it takes me away from being on social media for a minute and yeah so I don't know I just thought that I just have this open moment with y'all and just talk to y'all and things like that. I hope my camera is clean. Hold on, let me go check. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, my camera looks fine. But, um, yeah, y'all, so I was just really feeling really low and just discouraged sometimes. Like, I told y'all, you're going to feel discouraged when doing anything. Like, you're going to have those moments. But, again, I'm not stopping. I'm still going and stuff like that. Like, because I have, like I always tell y'all, I have a bigger picture my arm is tired oh shit i have a bigger picture with everything that i do like if i stop right now i'm feeling not only myself but everybody that watches me my family so i can't stop i can take a break to get myself together but stop it i can't do that y'all so yeah i'm gonna head back now because um i do have to get my site together and ready for today's drop Hold on, let me try to switch off. My arm is kind of tired. Have to, that is so bad. I have to get myself together for today's drop and things like that. So if you haven't already, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for believing in me and keeping your love with me, Ty Kena Cole. Um, if you aren't able to participate in this drop, I do have a women's collection for all my ladies that wants to have more lady things. I do have a women's collection coming up in hopefully November. We're going to see. I'm waiting on my graphic designer to finish everything and send it to me. But we're going to have a ladies drop in November. So, yeah. But my advice for everybody right now is when life throws adversity, life is full of adversity. It's up to you to keep going. So, my life is full of adversity. It's up to me to keep going. So, I'm, I'm still going, y'all. And if I can do it, I know y'all damn sure can too. But I'm going to pick up my camera when I get back to the house. 
Hey y'all, I am back and after my walk I ended up chilling getting my website together for my drop and my mom ended up coming to get me and we are going to the Coca-Cola factory. I've been here like a million times. Twice probably. Yeah, I've been here twice and I'm excited to go back because I haven't been since I was in middle school. So that was forever ago. So we are trying to find parking right now. It is very hard to find parking anywhere in Georgia the same way it's very hard to get from one place to another place in Atlanta because it's always so much traffic so that's what we're doing right what the world that's what we're doing right now is just trying to find parking I'm gonna make sure I vlog uh you should have went that way no, okay. yeah I would have but yes I'm with my mom and my sister right now and we just really chilling yeah, yeah. that is an opening oh I wonder if I can no, it ain't. Will it let me go back down? I don't know. That's, if you were willing to take the risk to see. But, um, I should have had that other car did it. Oh, it did. So, yeah, we just over here right now. I'm going to make sure I vlog. This is definitely going to be a shorter vlog. It's not going to be too long like last one because I did have a lot of stuff going on and stuff like that. So, this one's just going to be a shorter one. Probably going to drop this either later on today. Or I might wait till what's today? Saturday. Today Saturday. Yeah. I don't know why you keep going up and you keep looking that way. You want to go? I need to go no, down. Well, so yeah, this one's definitely gonna be shorter, but the next vlog is gonna be longer because I'll be doing more stuff. Cause hopefully I have a car. But anyways. Oh, this is a parking spot right now. But yeah, y'all, so I'm going to get with y'all when we get out the car and stuff. So yeah, bye y'all. So we finally made it out the car. After 30 minutes of putting lotion on everybody, everybody was just ash. Then I I don't walked out the car with my, my long sleeve socks on because it's cold. It's so cold out here, y'all. It was just like 90 degrees the other day. Now it's like 54, 60 and stuff like that but we finna get ready to go in here real quick hopefully they don't be playing too much music and they don't say that about my camera because i mean honestly i'm not disturbing nobody with it but you know how they be without cameras and stuff and the wind blowing so it's cold and the wind blowing well yes yeah, so i'm gonna just put my camera up when i get inside my camera look a little crooked so yeah bye y'all So we just got out the little movie thing or whatever the case may be. Now we're inside of the little vault thing or whatever. It's very packed. It's very packed. Everybody's kind of stopping a little bit, but I'm going to show you. my mother and my sister so yeah we're really just walking around just chilling i'm ready to get to the tasting the tasting my favorite part of the whole thing mm -hmm. ain't trying to know how they make the coke i don't care okay bye bye okay. bye y'all different doors that open and stuff like that like this one got a tv in it and then you got this one you got like all the stuff around it and stuff like that Alright, then you got some of this right here. That ain't really. It's not nothing like interactive. It's just more history about it for real. And I really don't care about the history. I just want to drink the drink. You feel me? Eh? Alright, I'm going to pick up my camera a little bit later though. Be careful, this is in fact legal. The Coca Cola that's currently holding our recipe. So please remember to. Uh, so, we just got done doing the little vault thing. It was really short, for real. Like, it, I thought it used to be longer when I was younger. Maybe because it was a lot of us, or whatever. But. Oh, this is the sink. Oh, they're, okay, they're going to free these. So yeah, we just, it's hot as, I need some water or something. 
so yeah. But I'm gonna get back with y'all in just a second. Let me show y'all how packed it is. It's a lot of people in here. It's a lot of folks. So I'm gonna put my camera up later. So we are in the Lord, it's so hard to vlog. We are in the taste testing area or whatever the case may be. I'm trying to find an open slot or something. So I'm gonna get ready to try taste extension number two or whatever. They're like hogging the machine. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, so this is the one I'm tasting. It's the popping lemonade. That was good. I'm kind of thirsty, so I'm gonna get another one. Can you get the other one? Oh, yeah. Do you like that one? Hey, y'all. So I'm trying the Fanta Costa Rica now. It's not tasty. That's nasty. Okay. I'm going to try the Monza Lip Rojo. Let me try this one. So. This is chili. This one is good. That was good. I'm gonna try the pineapple fancy. That one was good. I already knew pineapple fancy was good. I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to drink it. more drink give me one second I gotta make sure my sight up yeah I just tried this sour plum yeah, coca-cola shit from China that shit was so motherfucking nasty oh Beverly they said this is good this one not working okay this is Beverly hold on which one is it oh that's Beverly Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. I don't know what it is. You could try it. Oh. Oh. Have you tried the sour plum china? Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, that's bad right up. Like yeah, I don't know. That ain't... Mm -mm. Okay, I got a little... A little sweet. Yeah, that was good. A little sweet tea here, y'all. Just, just to wash it down, because that was bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Oh, this... I was gonna try to do my video. My, well, there'll be more content, so I, I'll definitely go. Hey guys, so your girl just got done with the Coca-Cola thing. It was really fun uh, tasting the different flavors. A lot of them things was ass, but it was still good. 
that was a good experience to spend time with my lovely family. Family. So I dropped. I did drop my clothes, y'all. The first day is doing so well. I am so proud of myself and what I've done, or whatever the case may be. So y'all got. I'm gonna keep the site open for a week, week or two. So with the site being open for a week or two, they get time for y'all to get paid and go get go get paid and be able to shop the brand. So me and my family are about to get ready to go to a pumpkin patch type vibe since it is the fall time. So yeah, guys, I just want to come in here and check in y'all. Glory be to God. All glory be to God. Like when I say thank you, Jesus, for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for just blessing me. Thank you, God, for blessing my family. I'm just very grateful and appreciative. So we got probably I think about it's either going to be six more days left of the site being open or either 12, no, 13 more days open with the site being open. So, yeah, guys, keep shopping with your girl. Uh, keep shopping with your girl. Uh. All right, I'm going to catch y'all in the, in the next clip. Yep, bye, y'all. Hey, y'all, so we amazing the Cozy Coop. And we're going to try this. my first time trying it. It's your first time trying yes. it. And... <laughs> My sister first time trying it too. I don't know, Lord. So we finna get ready to go in here. I gotta see if they playing music first. But oh yeah, I'm tired. I gotta see if they playing music. If they hopefully they're not playing music so I can record. But yeah, so I'm gonna get back with y'all in just a second. And in just a second. Oh y'all see the fit? I got on uh the fit with my Miharis. So bye y'all. I just got back to the house after my walk or whatever the case may be um i just want to come on here and end my vlog i know it was pretty short but i had got some really bad news about a family member so i just been going through it or whatever the case may be um yeah so if y'all ever get the chance just please tell your loved one that you that you love them like that you love them that you're proud of them that you're happy for them like just please go and tell that loved one that you love them. I really wish I would have got the chance to say that to my cousin, but I didn't get the chance to. And also, advice is if you feel like you are drunk or under the influence, please do not drive because you put other people's lives in danger as in yours. So, yeah, don't, don't put somebody else's life in danger because of an action that could be um that could be prevented if you just catch an uber ask your friend to come and get you or something like that my cousin did pass away um due to a drunk driver um yeah i was just been crying and stuff like that but i had to come in here and let y'all know what's going on um it is personal stuff that is going on behind closed doors so and i'm gonna try to be consistent for y'all because i know this is what i do or whatever the case may be um <laughs> I have been, I'm not the type to cry on my camera. I'm not that, I don't feed for attention like that. I'm mean, not even feed for attention, but I, I just don't roll like that. Um, my drop is doing absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful for that. I'm very proud and of myself and things like that. Just keep shopping, guys. Thank y'all so much for the people that have shot y'all have made, um, my goals and dreams i have surpassed my goals and dreams and i appreciate y'all so much my site will be open for two weeks so if you couldn't catch it this full week you have next week i know a lot of people you know have jobs inflation is high so for y'all to even take your time and spend your hard-earned money on me i appreciate that greatly um yeah that's really all i have to say um take a few days to myself and i love y'all appreciate y'all stay safe stay prayed up stay blessed um and how I all my videos. If you rock with me, how I'm rocking with you. You rock with you, how you rock with me. You'll like, comment, subscribe to your girl. Because your girl is on the road to 50K. Thank y'all. I hope y'all have a nice day. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear.